Hey guys, I'm Jace. Welcome back to Farmstead Forge. I got about 10 million things going on right now. We're building a bigger shop. Um, just got a full book and so I'm going to do a really fast video on some twist wrenches because I need a couple extra ones. I need to give a couple away. All that good stuff. So my favorite style of twist wrench are these old school guys. Um, you can just weld a handle on them. They're really nice for twisting. They have a nice straight jaw and you can come down. Um, I like the adjustable ones versus one that you just make out of steel just because when you're hand forging things, they're not always going to be the same size. Also, sometimes it's nice to leave them just plain like this old guy. And then this is actually an old Henry Ford wrench, so I don't really want to weld on it and ruin it because it's kind of cool. Um, but sometimes it's nice to have one without a handle that you can just get in there and, and tweak something. Um, the most common one you can find, of course, is good old crescent wrench. I don't like when you weld a handle on them very well because your one handle's up here and it just kind of feels weird. Not that it's a big deal, I just don't like it. Um, I also, you also can use a pipe wrench, but the teeth will mar your steel, so you got to either grind your teeth off. However, this one, I'm gonna leave the teeth on because if you are ever making something out of round stock, like a hook, and it's off, you can grip it enough to twist it back if you want to. So I'm gonna leave the teeth on this one. It's an older one, so the teeth are pretty dull, and that's why I'll use that one. I also have some of these big old antique wrenches, and I really like these for making twist wrenches, and I want a bigger one. So I'm gonna use this guy, and I might save these other ones for um, another project. This one's actually froze up. It's been, you can, it just barely wiggles. So I think just a little bit of heat in there, not much, and I can get that broke loose. The handle's also really been wowie. This had a big chunk of pipe beat onto it when I found it. So I cut that all off and I'm gonna clean it up and that's what we're gonna build this one today. I'm probably gonna grind this handle down a little bit. I know that's for strength, but it's just super wide and awkward. So I'm gonna clean that up, straighten that up, and uh, get some heat in this, see if we can't free it up before we get too crazy. And then I'll have a nice big twist wrench. So we'll get started and see how it goes. <laughs> Just that little bit of heat from straightening my handle, that thing's already free as can be. So, um, usually I just take a torch and lightly get a nice dull red in those and um, wait till it's just hot to the touch and we'll hit it with some PB Blaster or WD 40 and then just start working it.
Hope you guys like this video of these twist wrenches. It'd be nice to have a nice big one to twist something up big, although I'm gonna have to actually finally bolt one of my vices down. Hopefully getting a new shop up will help with some of my space issues. So I got a million things going on here this summer, so um, stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time.